Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well, if you'll indulge me, I want to share a little bit about the why before I get to the what of this amendment. For those of you who don't know, today marks the 105th anniversary of the opening of the I-5 bridge between Vancouver, Washington, my community, linking uh, to Portland, Oregon. And 105 years ago, the United States had yet to enter World War I. Woodrow Wilson was president, and the majority of the population got around on horseback. So while the bridge has served us well over the past century, it's long past time to replace it with a modern structure that can best serve us for the next century to come. And I know I don't have to tell you, <laughs> I've worked for many, many, many years to address the need to replace the Interstate 5 bridge. And my commitment to the partners involved in this effort, chiefly Oregon and the federal government, and to all of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle in approaching this monumental task has been to a collaborative process and an effort where all voices are heard and all perspectives are respected in order to reach a consensus project. And while I'm very appreciative of the support this committee has shown for the most current I-5 bridge replacement process, and I'm grateful that it's one of the projects that's slated for funding in the Move Ahead Washington package, one of the sources of revenue included in this package, the exported fuel tax, is a source of grave concern to our partner state of Oregon. They'll be paying a disproportionate share of this tax to help fund our Move Ahead Washington package while also working to fund their own portion of the I-5 bridge replacement, which seems overly burdensome and unfair to me. So I offer the amendment before us today to delay the start of the export of fuel tax credit system in order to allow us more time to review and study the impacts and the viability of this revenue source. And I, I ask for your support today. Thank you.